Hi, this is Deboki, and as of a few weeks ago, I have been on booktube for a year now. I've said this before, but when I joined booktube, I didn't really know what I was in for. I really, like, I had been watching YouTube channels that I thought were really awesome, but they were not booktube channels, and I wanted to start some kind of channel of my own, and I just didn't know what to make it about. And then I, like, learned somehow, maybe through Book Riot, that people talk about books on YouTube and I was like that's awesome because I didn't really know what I was in for when I joined I had really no sense of what people meant when they talked about the booktube community when I joined I really kind of underestimated that aspect so for me booktube has been a really awesome way to connect with people from a lot of different perspectives a lot of different backgrounds with like all sorts of things to say that like I wouldn't know about if it weren't for this community. So really thank you to all of you who are willing to share either in comments or on your own channels or on Twitter, whatever way. Thank you for um, for sharing your perspective. So for today I wanted to kind of just share some of the videos that for me sort of exemplified what I love about booktube. So I'm going to be sharing 10 videos, um, but just note that these are not meant to be like the top 10 videos of booktube. They're all awesome videos, they're all from awesome people with awesome channels, so I would definitely check out any of their channels. They're also not meant to be in any kind of like order, there's no like ranking in this. Whatever order I wrote them on my computer is the order that I am putting them on in this video. So the first video is from a book olive and it is her video about getting her first literary tattoo called getting my first literary tattoo. Basically in this video she talks about how she was reading this book and there was this quote that really stood out to her so much that she was like yeah this is it. And I really love this because I feel like in, in like book world we all kind of understand that impulse, the way that like it's not always just stories but it's the way that words are put together that can really resonate with you to really mean something. And I really loved her story, I really loved how she explained kind of her personal connection to these words um, that were so important to her that she actually sought out a way to get them permanently etched on her skin. So along those lines of connecting kind of literary and personal experiences um, is a video from Brie Hill. I love her channel for like her very visceral personal responses to books and in this the video that I'm highlighting now is actually from early on when I started following her and this is her discussion video about the book Headscarves and Hymens why the Middle East Net needs a sexual revolution and in this video she talks about her experience living in Saudi Arabia as well as her experience as a mother and this to me sort of exemplifies what I'm talking about when I talk about how YouTube allows you to connect with people who have very different experiences than you because Bree's perspective is very different from where I come from and I really love hearing the ways that she comes at books because it's a very different perspective than the sort of perspective I hear every day. Number three is a video from Crystal Marsh. It is her video, uh, Punk Ass Book Jockeys Reading Culture in Parks and Rec. And in this video she's talking about how the show Parks and Recreation uses books to illustrate different facets of the people of Pawnee as well as the overall culture of the town. And I just have to say in general like if I didn't like Crystal I would probably hate her because her videos they're the kind of videos that I wanted to make when I joined booktube and then realized very quickly that I don't have like the scope or this like critical analysis skills or the patience to make them and her videos oftentimes kind of get at how the way that we read books reflects different parts of ourselves or maybe our community and I think that's perfect for booktube another video that I think is very similar along those lines which is very much about how we consume certain works is a video from Vanessa at Split Reads she does a lot of really awesome secondary uh, source research um, where she seeks out scholarly works that does a lot of analysis about um, in some cases like things like booktube culture but in this case in the video that I'm going to talk about um, right now um, which is her video why do we consume true crime she speaks she specifically seeks out essays that talk about the different ways that true crime is packaged to give a certain aesthetic that changes the way that we consume it so that can be something like the podcast serial and how it's get like kind of layered through a, a set sense of NPR voice and that might how to change our relationship to that material um, compared to other sorts of true crime. This video is really awesome to talk to, to kind of getting at how the way that certain stories are packaged to us changes the way that we relate to them. Next video is from the minimalist booktuber. She also does some really great discussion videos about booktube but the video that I'm going to talk about now is actually kind of getting away from this discussion trend that I've been on and this is her if you like this you'll like dot 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 k-drama edition video where basically she is recommending certain Korean dramas based on another work that you like and if you've been on my channel you can probably guess why I like this video basically it combines like my favorite things books and Korean dramas I love both of these things and I love it when people connect 
different forms of pop culture to each other where they can say like you know if you if you get something out of one you might get something similar out of another so I really love this video so next up is a video from Burnt Fiction and this is her rereading Eligible by Curtis Sittenfeld discussion this is super narcissistic on my part but part of the reason why I was excited when I first saw this video was po posted was partially because I was really excited that Burnt Fiction was posting again but also because the first video that I posted on booktube was a review of Eligible and she and I actually have very different responses, but I think this is part of what I love about booktube is I think because there's something about YouTube as a medium, the fact that, you know, your face is on camera and we're all kind of talking to each other. A lot of us are talking to each other kind of via, you know, this camera medium, this visual and audio medium that creates a sense of personal connection that also makes disagreements more interesting. In this video she's actually talking about how some of her her original responses to the book had shifted and I think that's something else that is really something that I think booktube is very conducive to because a lot of what we a lot of what the style of booktube is I think is a very kind of continuous sense of reading where it's not just you know I read a book here are my thoughts. There's a really kind of sense to me at least of continuity where I've read a book and I'll talk about it in this review but I'll probably talk about it again I'll probably talk about it again in my monthly wrap-up maybe I'll talk about it again in my yearly wrap-up there's really a sense of your feelings being able to evolve about a book just given the way that the community is structured so next is a vlog from the novel sanctuary where she um, called getting ready for the move and this is just like fun like I love her vlogs they are so much fun to watch her she, she's basically packing up trying to get everything taken down and and like I said, first of all, fun to watch. Also, she has a hysterical cat. I love this vlog. I just feel like it's really sweet. It's really cute. It's really fun. Next video I'm going to be talking about is a video from Valentina Garcia. This is her video about Laboratorio, a book that is a, basically a collaboration between a poet and a bunch of scientists. And obviously this is something that is very appealing to me, is very interesting to me. It combines things that I am super excited about, but even more so in terms of talking about what it, what it reflects for me in terms of what I love about book tube is that this is a book that I don't think I would have heard about if it weren't for booktube because it's not something that you I, I feel like I just I just don't think I would have come across it and I know a lot of times we talk on booktube about the idea that there are certain books that just get discussed a lot and I get that I get that you know there are certain books that get a lot of hype the booktube for me has been a great source of books that I would not have known about otherwise and it's really done a lot to diversify my reading um, in terms of subject matter in terms of genre in terms of writing uh, in terms of writers it really has helped me to broaden my horizons and this video for me kind of exemplifies that. So I haven't read Laboratorio yet. So next up is a video from Rincey at Rincey Reads and this is her video on disliking important books. And I like this video because I feel like it, it kind of gets at a, a question that is the converse of a question that we have more frequently which is what do you do if you like a problematic book? But what I liked about this video is because we're now getting at the opposite question and I think it's interesting because it gets at the different ways that the same pressure to like a certain class of books can warp your response or kind of make you feel differently about a certain book because generally disliking a book would not be a big deal we all dislike books but disliking certain books can feel worse than <laughs> disliking other ones and I've definitely had that happen to me there are certain writers certain books that I know are really important I just didn't like that for me at least I feel guilty a little bit about not liking it because I I want to like it, I want to support it, but I just have a hard time doing it. So I think this is a really interesting video as kind of a jumping off point for a broader discussion about the kinds of books that we like or dislike and how we express that given the context that they might be fitting in overall. And the last video I wanted to talk about is from Chapter Stacks. This is her video, her discussion video called Leaving Booktube, which is not her leaving Booktube. This is her talking about some of the advice that she feels she's developed over her time on Booktube about how to not get burnt out. And I watched this a few weeks ago and I I just thought she had a really she had a lot of really good advice um things about like posting schedule about responding to comments i mean her her viewership is like much bigger than mine so i feel like the question of burning out is very we're, we're operating on different scales um but i think a lot of her advice still carries and it's definitely stuff that i've been thinking about and in terms of the broader discussion about like the booktube culture i feel like 
a lot of her advice kind of applies to some of the conversations going on right now. I just think that there's a lot to be learned kind of from her video. So thank you guys for watching. I am looking for more booktubers to follow, so if you have recommendations based on any of the channels or videos that I mentioned today, I would definitely love to hear more about them. And yeah, happy one year at booktube.